Okay, I'm recording again, and I apologize, I forgot to the excitement level. The excitement level. Where are we at with that right now? Oh, the excitement level is off the chart. I mean, when you talk about you can't be in person, but you have a, a, a convention speech watch party, and there's a couple hundred people though there uh, at the Lansing Mall, super uh, excited. Uh, you have, uh, you know, in the, in the campaign office, you know, people walking in off the street, what can I do to help? Uh, phone is, uh, is blowing up with people wanting to get involved, how to get engaged. Uh, the, you know, so the excitement level is exciting as I've ever, uh, I've seen it in my, uh, you know, 30 years of being around, uh, campaigns. On that same note, we've got some down ballots, um, you know, the seventh, uh, congressional district, which is Tom Barrett, uh, the Republican versus, uh, Curtis Mignola, the Democrat. It, the polls are very tight. How concerned are Democrats or how excited are Democrats? Where are Democrats at in terms of what that polling is showing and, and what that outcome may be? So uh, we're not surprised. Again, in the capital region, uh, this has always been a congressional seat, especially when it's an open seat. has been some very close elections uh, going you know, both ways. And it really is going to take uh, whether, uh, you know, turn out uh, down in Mason, uh, or you know, and then of course on campus, and uh, you know, here in the city of Lansing, uh, any one vote uh, can flip the can flip this congressional seat. Uh, we know we're used to it to being the top target in the country, uh, and and that's why we know that uh, we are out in the community uh, talking to every voter. Um, because uh, you don't know which was the one that's going to make the difference because the margin is so narrow. But with Curtis' track record of serving the people of Ingham County, even back as registered deeds and helping with the foreclosure and people keeping their houses, uh, you know, talk all the people he helped with their unemployment issues during the uh, the COVID uh, and all the you know all the layoffs and helping that um, people don't forget that. And, and having that track record of, of, of support over time, I, I believe we'll, you know, we'll put them over the edge um, you know, because people re remember the hard work, uh, the person who can cross the aisle, um, and, you know, and, and who's out in the community. Okay. At the same note, we also have the Senate race going on with Slotkin and Rogers, right. both also you know, Ingham County representatives at one point. Or sure, another. right. Uh, that is also very tight. Um, What's the sense that you're hearing from other counties as it relates to uh, Slotkin running for Senate? What are, we, what, are we, what are we hearing? What are we seeing? I think the other parts of Michigan, I, I think she's heading in, uh, up north right now with, in her, uh, so that she can interact with more. Uh, I remember seeing her when she first ran, uh, talked about running for office, and I was like, wow, she's really something special. She's really someone who, um, her experience, uh, but uh, the way she engages with people is really, uh, is really special. So we're kind of spoiled here in Ingham that we've had some time with Alyssa. And uh, so I'm glad that if she gets out across the state, other people will see that, that special uh, touch of understanding people and their common needs. Very similar to our current U.S. Senator who's been, you know, raised and, and lived here in, in Lansing and worked just over at Sexton. And uh, so we, we are, are blessed to have uh, some great leaders who have come from the capital region and we're happy to help provide that uh, kind of leadership for the state and for the whole country uh, coming from the capital region. So flipping a little bit back to the, to the house race, Speaker Johnson is coming to Lansing tomorrow to stump for Tom Barrett. Does that indicate? Does that indicate just how important the seventh congressional seat is for control of the U.S. Congress, the U.S. House in particular? Certainly. I mean, you see uh, people, uh, pundits, experts all over the country says where our congressional district go will determine the majority. There are such different uh, areas of our diverse district. Um, that 
will be very similar to other pockets of the country as, as well. So uh, it's not uh, surprising to have uh, uh, the Mike Johnson here. It will be great if actually he can kick call in Congress to get more funding for the hurricane victims uh, and do something about that and actually his job. Um, but we're not surprised by that. And Hakeem Jeffries has been here several occasions as well. Uh, we're almost a bit cynical about it uh, with having these uh, uh, national uh, uh, folks from the other country coming in. Uh, it's more about the conversations we have people at the door, at the kitchen table, at the football games. Um, that well, I think will make a difference than maybe the uh, the big celebrities, um, in my in my personal opinion. So, um, anything I didn't ask you that you think is really important as it relates to this upcoming election and the vice president's visit to the Lansing Township? Sure, I think the biggest thing about this election and that we don't know is uh, the dynamics of early voting. Uh, in other states, up to a third of the people will vote early. It's so convenient to vote on the weekends uh, versus during the week. Tuesday's a very busy day. So how does that impact turnout when the margins are so small? And so we're trying to make sure that uh, our supporters who have the, the busy moms who are, you know, picking up kids, working and that, uh, making sure they're aware of those weekends uh, voting, because I think that's going to be the difference. Uh, in this election cycle, and so our, I think one of our uh, goals as, a, as Democrats is to make sure that uh, our supporters are aware of all those options to vote so that they have that opportunity to let their voice be heard.